Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier with part 7 of Ship Fight. Ship Fight is a series aimed to identify the pros and cons between two ships in a seemingly similar role and price range. This was the most requested video and I feel confident today that we have enough information to discuss these two ships. The Iteris or the Kraken. The question's pretty topical considering one just came off concept. Neither are flight ready, but I'm hoping to see them soon as Squadron 42 is being worked on. They both carry a very hefty price tag of 1500 and I'm going to push on because as I said it was highly requested. I'm not expecting a clear winner here because they're not very similar. However, through the exercise of comparison, we're going to see clarity. First, let's get the obvious stuff out of the way. They're both massive carriers, which also serve as mobile bases of operation. Flying One makes you a sitting target unless you have it staffed properly. Flying One can change the balance of power to your favor in the vicinity that you're operating. There's actually two variants of the Iteris. The Iteris P is the peacekeeper, and the Iteris M is the military variant. The P is quicker and offers more cargo, reduced weapons, and is less rare due to artificial scarcity. The M mounts a forward-facing railgun, larger weapons, and if you have one, you're either a very early backer or you bought one off of an early backer. I'm going to break down the two variants as the baseline of what the ship is capable of. The P mounts a size 10 hardpoint, which is blank, four turrets with a pair of size 4 weapons, six turrets with a pair of size 5 weapons, and no missiles. The M mounts a devastating size 10 mass driver. It has one turret with a pair of size 7, five turrets with a pair of size 5, and two turrets with a pair of size 4. Ten size 5 missiles with an auto-loading system. So as far as direct combat is concerned, you can see that the M is actually a lot stronger. Both have a strong array of redundant capital class shields and hull armor that you would expect of a military ship. Both have a fighter deck that can service and launch three small fighters, plus there's a small hangar underneath for an Argo utility craft. Both have a listed crew of 8 to 28. The Drake Kraken is a flying city. Being Drake, it has civilian class equipment and weaker armor. It has one turret with two size 8, four turrets with two size 6, and four turrets with two size 5. Its design is more like a modern carrier with the external landing pads all over the deck. Ships can be transported through Quantum stuck to the outside, however unlike the Iteris, getting to the ships while in transit might actually be risky. It has two large pads and four smaller ones. Although it has strong turrets, the Kraken gets its real strength from its ships. It won't take a beating like the Iteris and it's missing that size 10 mount. To me this means it would work very well against many smaller ships. Its real appeal is that it's more of a mobile base for an orc, the central support node rather than the battering ram. So in a straight fight, it's fairly obvious, but who really won? Toe to toe, the Iteris is a clear winner until you add the strategy and tactics. These ships should never be flying without escort, so it's not so cut and dry. Either offer huge cargo potential, refit, refuel, rearm, and repair. They are both huge assets and both a huge liability to a mid-sized orc, a huge target, and a huge stick when needed. Once land is sold and we're building outposts, I can actually see the Iteris and the Kraken being a major part in support, bringing the supplies and the protection. When exploring, I can see both being the very thing that makes enemies think twice. Basically, by bringing out your big guns, you may never need to use them. And that's it. I'd ask you to sound off which you like and why in the comments. If you like this video series, please link it to a friend or orgmate, it helps me a lot. Stay tuned for more, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.